Hello, Evan Rand here. What kind of mess do we got going on here? Oh boy, well, if you've seen the last video, I mean, you kind of know what we're uh, working on here. We are working on running a water line out to the garden way out there, and then uh, drop a few other faucets along the way too, just so we have water, uh, like by the garage here, and then uh, we'll do two of them out towards the uh, garden way there. Uh, did the digging here in the last video, so if you want to see that one, make sure you check that video. Some interesting finds. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a fun one there. Anyway, we're gonna work on water, running the water lines and putting the faucets in here in today's video. Um, let's see, anything to make note of? Well, we need to drill through the wall over here. Probably gonna start with that project, Evan. And then we either need to knock this down or drill through it, I'm not sure what yet, whichever's easiest, I guess. And there's three walls here. I don't know if I need to go through this one. That one probably is low enough, Evan. But I need to go through this one and probably that one as well. And I think that's really the only thing interesting going on here. Yeah, we'll just have to be careful. Make sure we uh, go underneath the uh, sewer pipe there. Yeah, like I said, Evan, we'll uh, actually, you know what? Before we uh, start working on this here, let me show you folks what we got here, what we're working with here. Hop over to the other side. Got my uh, fittings over here. So these are what's going to go on the bottom of the faucet there and connect our poly pipe. So we're going to be running black poly pipe. And then the uh, faucet will attach to this here. And I'm putting in three faucets, by the way. So I've got three of these. One's going to be in line. One's going to tee off by the garage there. Probably could have done another one of those too, I guess. But And then clamps, cutters, and then our faucets are in the garage. Let me show you those here a minute as well. And these are our uh, faucets here, everyone. Uh, these are frost-free, I guess they call them hydrants or faucets, uh, whatever you want to call them, yard hydrant here. Uh, these are supposed to be a four-foot berry depth. That was kind of the uh, debate when I was working on this, Evan. Like, do I want to put this four foot down and be frost free, or should we go, you know, a little higher, just go like a foot down or something? But then if we do that, Evan, we've got to blow this out every year. So it's like, you know what? I don't really feel like blowing this out every year. So that's why we're going with the, uh, the frost free hydrants here. And again, like I was saying, this end will uh, connect down to that uh, brass T there, Evan. And when we install these, and hopefully you'll see that in the video here as well, uh, somewhere on here, there it is. I get this turned around. Right there, everyone, is a little drain on the bottom here. So when you shut this off, everyone, the water that is in this pipe here will drain out into the ground. We're going to put a little bit of gravel, well, not gravel, uh, like pea stone, I guess you call it, a little bit of pea stone on the bottom here. Uh, so again, when you shut this off, water can drain out in that, and you don't have water that can potentially freeze in this, I guess you call it, kind of, I call it a stand pipe here at that point. So yeah, let's uh, get to work on this here, everyone.
I figured we'd record a little uh, voice over here for some of this here. Working on getting the uh, pipe into the basement here at this point. I used my hammer drill to uh, drill two holes through the uh, block foundation here. Now, unfortunately, in my case, I, mean, I did not have a, a bit large enough here for this pipe. Uh, probably needed, I don't know, like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in that one. I only had a one inch bit, so I just took my one inch bit and kind of worked it around a little bit. Uh, that's what you've seen kind of in that uh, last little clip right there. I had to kind of work that hole just a little bit more to actually get the pipe through it. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, now we're starting to uh, fill the pipe in there. Make sure you uh, put some dirt on it to hold that uh, pipe down. Again, running two sections of pipe here, everyone. And they're basically both uh, right next to each other. Working our way down here. The first section is going to go pretty quick here. Uh, first little bit there, we had to get underneath the uh, sewer pipe, and then once we're past that, I'm going to spring just to roll it all the way down. Uh, our first uh, faucet there will be the, by the corner of the garage. That's kind of where my dad is standing at the moment, and he's uh, giving me a hand here with this uh, pipe. Probably could uh, do the job yourself, of them, but this is one of those jobs where it's a lot easier having uh, two people, one kind of up uh, above the trench there, you know, just kind of holding that pipe, keeping it uh, where you need it, and then I'm just down in the trench there kind of keeping it in position, and yeah, there's my dad helping me uh, hold it and that shovel as well, so, and then we're almost to the first location, there we go, to the first uh, faucet location here. And uh, at least where I am, Evan, you only really need to bury them three feet down for the pipe. But uh, the faucets I bought are four foot bury depth, and that seems to be the only uh, bury depth that uh, my local hardware store is selling. By the way, all the all the stuff they're selling is a four foot bury depth, so that's the faucets I have. And again, I kind of had uh, two ways I could have gone with this one, and I was debating when I did this. Do I want to bury it, you know, four foot down so it's frost free, or do I just want to, you know, go really shallow, you know, maybe a foot down that one, but then I'm going to have to, like, blow the line out every year so I don't risk freezing. Obviously, as you can see, I mean, I decided to go with the, uh, the four foot down part so I don't have to sit here blowing the line out every year. Anyway, uh, cut the pipe there. Uh, you can see I'm working on putting the uh, fitting in there. Well, <laughs> if I wasn't blocking the camera anyway. Such, a, such great camera skills here, wow. Pounding the fitting in there, make sure we're getting it in all the way. I am putting two clamps on every single side of the fitting there. Now we got some uh, Teflon tape here to uh, screw the faucet on too once that, uh, once that fitting is on. Also using my orange uh, tubing cutters there. For those who don't have a pair of these, oh, those things are really nice. I would highly, highly recommend getting yourself a nice pair of those uh, tubing cutters. They uh, they really come in handy. And you can see here too, I'm uh, installing just a little short section of pipe here. Uh, rather than running the pipe kind of into the corner, I'm putting a T right there. Uh, we're going to tee off and then go to the corner there. Only, I, I think it was like a two or three foot section of pipe, something like that. And actually, kind of one of the reasons I'm doing this, Evan, some of these uh, fittings I got here, uh, the fitting in this particular case, I think I got it for a dollar, uh, but it's a three quarter fitting, so I just bought a one by one by three quarter T, and I'm using a little piece of three quarter inch uh, pipe there. Uh, so I can use up that uh, nice little uh, cheap $1 fitting. Otherwise, the, the fittings for these, if you got to buy these, that one, they are a little bit pricey. I like to say they're like 10 or 15 bucks a piece for the good ones, something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that price, but they are a little pricey. So uh, the fittings here, I got uh, really cheap for like a dollar each. And uh, yeah, they didn't have, unfortunately, I couldn't get all one inch fittings. I'm running all one inch conduit here, by the way. I couldn't get all one inch, so I had the one three quarter. I'll tell you, that'll work out perfect for right here. Just get a T in there with a one by one by three quarter, right? And then we're getting ready to install the, uh, the fitting there, by the way. I think it's a uh, three quarter inch thread on the bottom of the uh, faucet as well, if I remember correctly. All these sizes you gotta keep track of when you're doing a job like this. I put the Teflon tape on here now, and then uh, we'll get those tightened down with the pipe wrenches, make sure they're good and tight. That was the one thing with this uh, project, Evan. I would have liked to, uh, you know, like test it all of this before I covered it up, but we were kind of up against some weather, and you'll see this a little bit later in the video here. 
But yeah, we were up against some weather, so I didn't really get a chance to like test this before covering it up. But hopefully we should be good. I'm on, like I said, double clamped everything. Everything is like super tight. Shouldn't have to worry about it. Of course, making sure we wrap the Teflon around the correct way. For those who don't know, there is almost kind of sort of a right and a wrong way to wrap Teflon. If you wrap it the wrong way when you go to screw it on it, the Teflon will kind of work its way off as opposed to threading in with it. And yeah, there's my dad grabbing the other uh, pipe wrench there. Again, like I said, just making sure we're getting everything good and tight. All kinds of fun just uh, you know, working down in the hole here, right everyone? Trimming up the end of that uh, pipe there just a little bit. And again, you can see all the clamps on there. Like I said, we're putting two clamps on every single connection. Do you need two clamps? Maybe not, everyone, but like I said, extra insurance. And clamps aren't overly expensive, so good insurance, right? And then for those of you who have ever installed faucets like this before, a couple of steps uh, coming up here that uh, kind of need to uh, make sure you uh, pay attention to and uh, follow when you're doing faucets like this. Obviously these are frost-free hydrants as they like to call them, or frost-free faucets. Well, I'll try saying that a couple times fast, right? Frost-free faucets here, uh, which means there is no water in this uh, the pipe that my dad is holding here. There is no water in that pipe. Uh, when you shut this off, all that water that is in this standpipe here uh, drains out. In order to drain out, and again, you'll see this here in just a minute in the video, one, uh, we need to make sure we put some uh, pea gravel of some sorts down in there so there's room for that water to drain out of that uh, standpipe once you shut it off. And again, when you shut these off, the shutoff for this faucet uh, is down where I'm working. It's way down in the bottom there. Right where that uh, connection is, that's where the actual like shut off for the water is. So you know, that water is shutting off, uh, in this case, like four feet down in the hole, right? Surprisingly too, I just seen a little bit of dirt came in there. Uh, didn't actually have much issue with the uh, dirt caving in on this project. I, mean, I, you know, I would have thought here uh, with kind of the sandier soil, maybe we would have had some issues with that. Uh, but no, nope, the soil held together quite nicely. I, I was very pleasantly surprised by that. And I was hoping it would go that way, by the way. Obviously, you have your trench just caving in on you. That's, uh, that is no fun, right? There, my dad is uh, working on putting a little more dirt right there. Uh, we have one more thing we need to do here yet as well. well actually, two more things. Uh, I'm going to end up putting a block under here. So underneath all the uh, faucets, everyone, they recommend putting uh, a little block of concrete. So I've got that under all of them. And then, of course, I'm along with that, uh, your pea gravel as well. And we were just under uh, four feet down here. We're about uh, 50, I think it was 50 or 52 inches. Uh, that's to the bottom of the dirt there. Uh, once we put the block under it, though, then I think we're probably closer to that 48-inch uh, mark. 
Yeah, there's the gravel. I think it's the, oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it, on there's a block down in the corner there. And also, uh, nice have enough with the uh, previous homeowner one, left several bags of pea gravel in the garage when I bought this place, so I didn't have to buy this uh, pea stone here either. Uh, it was already in the garage there, and now if you can see like the, the plastic bag it was in, yeah, it's pretty much just all absolutely disintegrated. There's just nothing left of those uh, plastic bags, but made use of that uh, pea stone that's been sitting in my uh, garage here for the last couple years. Like I said, the previous owner left it there. And there we are working our way down the rest of the uh, trench here. At this point, we're going to work out past uh, the shed here. Now you can see where like the big stones are back there. We're going to that for the next uh, location. And there the, uh, the, the foreman is admiring our handiwork there from the looks of it. Finally getting to our second location, Evan. This is where we're going to have a waterfall slash little pond here. We picked this up earlier this summer for free. I uh, just need to uh, like put it all back together here at uh, some point. Uh, in the video, Evan, I'm just putting a, a T in this location. Uh, after the video, I did end up going back and getting another faucet for it here. Uh, they weren't super expensive here, these uh, faucets. So I just, it, that'll be good for here, hopefully. Ho hopefully that'll work with what, uh, what we're doing for the pond anyway, Evan. Because uh, I really wasn't sure what to put in here and just, yeah, decided that probably should work. Also, if I sound a little bit different, Evan, I realized the uh, first clip there, I recorded that on my webcam. I'm like, why does this sound so tinny and echoey? I'm like, what in the world's going on? And I finally realized, Evan, oh, wrong, uh, wrong microphone selected there. That was the webcam. So we're back on the good microphone here. So if I sound a little bit different, that is why. Continuing to uh, run the pipe the rest of the way down here, one. And in the end here, we had just enough pipe to make it. Uh, and I think I'll mention this a little later in the video too. But I, when I put my mist dig application in, uh, they said it was 275 feet. It must have been closer to the 300, Evan. Uh, mind you, I do have a couple feet in the house, I suppose. But yeah, we, we literally ran it right to the end here. That, that's literally where the pipe ran out there on the waterline one. Uh, you can see the electrical one. I had just a little bit extra there, but... Yeah, the water line literally ran out right there, and that was it. Oh, okay, Kevin, well, we uh, finished up putting on all the pipe and the faucets here uh, last night before it uh, got dark on us here. It actually didn't go too badly, I would say, here for the most part. And this is pretty much a 300-foot run. I know when I put the Miss Dig application in, I think it said 275 feet. But uh, anyway, I think we actually are closer to, like, the whole 300-foot because uh, we definitely used 300 a foot of pipe to get from here all the way to the far faucet over there one anyway just finished up putting some hydraulic cement down in the hole here um i don't know how well that's going to work that one you're supposed to use this stuff when it's above 40 degrees we're right at 40 at the moment and uh well it's not going to get any warmer it's supposed to be like 40 degrees for the next like 48 hours for that stuff i guess so yeah Hopefully it works, Evan. I'm not sure what else to do. It's 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 cold out, and it's not going to get any warmer, I doubt, everyone. So, anyway, you can see we got the pipes ran there. I uh, got underneath the uh, sewer pipe there through the old septic tank. We'll just uh, walk the uh, walk walk the line here, I guess. Whatever. Oh yeah, there's our uh, wires for the garage. That'll probably be a separate video, Evan. We're going to dig another trench here from here to the uh, house, and I'm going to run a brand new uh, conduit. Uh, from the house to the garage. Well, when I say conduit, Evan, uh, <clears throat> let me rephrase that. Oh, where'd I put it? Yeah, the uh, black pipe. We're just going to run the black pipe. I've uh, been kind of wanting to uh, do that anyway, Evan, so wasn't necessarily intending on doing that here at this point, but uh, since it happened, this is the point it's going to get done at, if that makes sense, right? And then we come to our first faucet here at the corner of the garage. Uh, a little bit shorter than I thought, everyone. Um, they say they're a four-foot berry depth. And I checked. We are like 52 inches. Actually, I think once we got the block under there, I think we're right at 48. Because 40, uh, 52 to the bottom of the trench. Then we put a, I don't know, it's probably a three or four-inch block of concrete under there. Uh, which, by the way, the three or uh, three or four-inch thick piece of concrete, everyone, I got that from the old, uh, the old, tank there and again i'm guessing that's the old septic tank that's where that uh, came from uh so yeah a little short i'm not sure i'm happy about that or not but 
I guess technically, I mean, I could have raised this up to a three foot berry depth. Uh, if I know on that one, I probably would have. Uh, at least where I live here, three foot is considered enough uh, to be low to be below the frost line. But again, when I bought these, they said they were four foot berry depth. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll uh, we'll make the trench uh, four foot down then, which is what we've done. Yeah, cats, uh, cats tunnel toys in there. I'll have to get that out. Continuing to uh, walk along here, and you might be noticing here. I don't know if I mentioned this in the video or not. One pipe, two pipe. Hmm, what's that about, Randy? Well, let's get over here and we'll show you. Coming up to a junction here where we have no faucet. I want, and I'm probably going to put one in here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, you might have noticed the uh, the rocks here. Uh, we acquired these all for free, along with the uh, tub there. Uh, in case you can't piece it together, it's uh, like a little uh, miniature pond water fountain set up here. Uh, well, I've got a tee in here for that, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this yet. I'm thinking, to be honest, I'm just going to go to the hardware store and get another faucet. Uh, they're, they're cheap enough. At least these ones are anyway. And just put that in there. And then we got the other pipe coming up here, Evan. Uh, this will be for uh, data or power, depending on which one I need. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I want... Uh, data out to the garden oven so I can run my cameras out here rather than having to re rely on Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi signal out here from the houses eh, It works on but that's about it. So uh, Got this pipe it runs second pipe here of course runs here and then it also runs to the garden as well And this also I'm gonna give me a tracer line once I have a cable in there That'll give me a tracer line for the water line as well. So rather than actually putting a wire in for the water line my wire is going to be the second pipe, if that makes sense. You know, should probably get that taped over. It's supposed to rain here, I think, tomorrow. So, we'll want to get this uh, covered up. We're going to be working on that here. Anyway, coming up to our second faucet here at the beginning of the garden. Not much to say there. And then continuing on here. Let's hop over to the other side. Yep, had to cover up our cover crop here on Fort Chevin. And I'll have to probably use the backhoe to fill this back in because I can't get in here to push this, unfortunately. Ooh, up against the fence there. Oops. Oh, well. And finally to our last faucet in the back corner of the garden here, one. And yeah, we had just, like, this was the end of the pipe. I mean, literally the end of the pipe right here. We couldn't have gone any further. Well, unless we splice more pipe in if we wanted to. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Anyway, we're going to start filling this in here now. I'll set the camera up and, uh, Hey, at least the uh, tractor has heat in it, right? That'll be nice. At least until I get to this part, anyway. Oh, well. Okay, well, but I think that is going to wrap it up here for this uh, project here. Uh, a couple of things to know here. First off, it is a couple of days later here that I'm recording this outro here. Uh, we finished uh, wrapping this up in the dark here, so I didn't get a chance to record the outro. And then it started uh, snowing here the next day, so this all got covered up with snow. Obviously, the snow has since melted, but... Uh, yeah, we had, I don't know, was it maybe like six inches or so of snow? Uh, it's starting to dry out here a little bit now. And, you know, mostly sandy soil here. So, uh, thankfully, it doesn't get too uh, too soppy. Uh, I think we got it packed down here pretty good, though. Looks like, uh, obviously, next spring, I'm going to probably have to come back through this here again. Maybe level stuff out here a little bit. I ended up uh, putting, uh, oh, I, I don't know, I lost count of how many bucket loads of extra dirt I ended up putting right here. Uh, this is uh, obviously where the old septic tank was uh, somewhere exactly somewhere right in this area uh but yeah i grabbed several bucket loads of dirt from the back there and ended up uh, throwing that in here just to kind of fill that in uh that is the uh next thing to note here one unfortunately i don't have any of the footage of me filling this back in here one uh, i recorded that all with my gopro and well i think you folks know where this is going uh the useless piece of crap garbage junk terrible horrible gopro corrupted all the footage all of it everyone all of it so yeah literally everything i recorded for this project on the gopro is no good it's all corrupt um yeah and uh there's another project on the gopro too most of those files are corrupt as well so yeah really yeah uh, really loving gopros right about now one and we'll just uh, walk this here obviously got the one faucet there looking pretty good looks like i maybe need to uh, let me straighten that one back up a little bit there looks like it's a little a uh, little crooked maybe dig down a little bit and see if we can straighten that uh, yeah, uh, for the most part, I just got to finish up in the house here at this point, and then I want to finish running electrical out here as well. So I don't know if that's all going to happen this year yet or not. Uh, I would like to get it done if we can, but 
don't open it. Don't know. Uh, if we can, that'd be great. If not, oh well, we'll see once how it goes here. So, and yeah, next spring we'll probably, like I said, level this back out some more, rake it up, and then uh, hopefully put some grass seed down on it. I know uh, spring is typically not the best time to be plant grass, but we're going to give it a try and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll take a little bit. So anyway, uh, with that, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below and uh, till next time.